Welcome! I'm Alice, and this is Darkwood, the newest game on my roster. Uh, normal, skip prologue, no. Yes, no. Okay. New game. It's a horror game. A little obscure, I think. I'm not sure how many people know about it. I think I've only seen like a couple of channels play this game. Um, but it's really good! It's a, it's a horror survival type game, but it's top down and it's very um, atmospheric and the music is really good. And I'm going to share it with you guys. There's a couple different ways that you can play this game. There's like storylines that you can follow and, and uh, different people you can interact with and choices you can make. I'm in. Got some pills. I don't really remember the buttons. I'm gonna be using my mouse and keyboard and it's gonna be really noisy and I'm really sorry but I can't do anything about it. Um, the keyboard is just the better way to play this game. Alcohol distiller. Blah 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 blah. Barricaded window. Medical notes. I know these by heart. I don't want to read them now. A chair. Um, this is the game. This is uh, this is how it is. You've got a top-down perspective on your guy, and uh, a light, which I think is really cool. Like things look very different in the dark compared to how they look um, when you've got your flashlight on them. It's very. Um, it, it really adds to the atmosphere because you can only see what you're looking at. Everything else is dark. I think that's really interesting. It's kind of, um, kind of makes it difficult, but it makes sense. And I think that's the best thing. That's the, that's the most important thing. Cages. This time they're empty. More cages. This time they're empty. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. There's mushrooms all about. Container. The lock has jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. So this is my house. I'm a doctor. And uh, that's really all I know about this guy. He's a doctor who uh, I assume has gone mad because there's some sort of plague that came and it took people over. What? The radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Yeah, he's uh, absolutely gone mad from this plague taking over. Medical notes. I know these by heart. I don't want to read them. Wardrobe. Uh, a key. Some wood. Some matches. A book. Um... I assume this is talking about what's been going on, but you can't really read it. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what to do with those things. I best not enter this room right now. Okay. That's fine. Table! My tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. And that's where I came from. I've looked at this room. Shoes. There's nothing in there. Use the key. There we go. I feel like I'm going a little fast. A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. 
There's a lot of things to look at. And I just don't really have the patience for any of them because I've, I've played this uh, a couple of times now. Um, but to be fair, it's been a while since I've played. So I don't really remember what's happening. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Yes! What do I have in my inventory? I've got some boards, rags, matchsticks, a nail, and some rope. Alcohol. And a medical bag. Uh, I don't think it really wants me to do anything with those, to be completely honest. Because this, um... Well, I won't spoil it. There we go, that was it. You run by holding shift. Which makes sense, honestly. Let me just equip this axe. Do it one more time. There we go. The trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Bear trap. Take it. Dead cow. Got some bones. Cool. Not sure what it wants me to do with that. I found a lost path, which I can see on my map. Oh, what? Oh, I'm starting to remember now what the atmosphere is like. I know I said it was atmospheric, but like... I, I have a weird thing with my memory, where I don't remember details about things, I just remember how they make me feel. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. And yeah, I just I fucking completely forgot how, how atmospheric this game is. And a fallen tree. favorite thing about this game is how it tells its story. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Okay. There we go. I've made a torch. And now I have an empty bottle. Which I'm going to place here instead of my pills. Because I can throw it. As a weapon. It doesn't kill a lot of things. But it does some damage. Is there something this way? Found an abandoned house? Where? Oh. I'm gonna get in here. I'm just gonna get right up in there. There's a branch, there's a chair, a wardrobe. Oh, uh, I don't have any room for this bread! What am do? I'll just take the bread. I don't really need the bone. Honestly, I don't think I'll need much of these. Just grab it. Grab it and drag it around. Oh, I thought for sure there was gonna be something behind it. Uh, can't really see anything going on with that. Branch. Let me check my map, see if there's. It's not helpful. Surprise! But what is over here? That's what I want to know. Is it anything? There's uh, what looks to be a bicycle carved into the ground. Oh, a corpse! Good! Good! In a few days, it will be completely absorbed by the trees! And here's a deer with human legs. Someone was doing the dark magic over here. You can tell because they mixed animal parts together. Is that a rabbit with human feet? All right, you do whatever you're doing. I'm gonna leave. 
There's a big ass tree. Oh, a guy! I think this one is still breathing. I just take his fucking key. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. That is of no importance. I need to get out of this accursed forest. Do you hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where! I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Oh, I forgot to kill the dog! Damn it! The doctor said he wanted to put the dog out of its misery. And you can go and get the, uh... The axe and go back and kill the dog. But I forgot! I forgot to do it! Ah, shit. Oh, well. I don't think it really changes much of the story. It's just a thing you can do. That fucker took my key! So, uh, surprise, surprise. This is just the prologue. Entry to a small cellar. Maybe... Oh, it's locked. I can open up the lockpick. Damn it! I didn't get to hear the rest of the thing. I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch it. I can't punch it. Okay. Um... Shit. Clothes. Uh, rag wire. Um... There's nothing else. The barrier is too strong to dismantle. Well, shit. What do I do then? I don't remember. It's locked. I'm gonna open it with a lockpick. Lockpick? I don't have any. Son of a bitch. Okay, now I have one. And rags! Bandages, I mean. Good. Good. Now, search, examine. Uh, an entry to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. Pick lock. Cool. Flashlight. Uh, shovel. That's gonna come in handy. Shovel's a pretty good weapon. Um, it's very weak though. As you can see, it's uh, very quickly losing its strength as I'm using it. Oh! Oh! Shit! Uh. He's seen me. The crazy doctor's seen me. He knows I'm out. Shit! He turned out the lights. Medical tools. Syringe. Cool. I found it. I don't know what these are for. Uh, I mean, I assume it just kind of fleshes out the environment, but there's these things that you can collect, like, fucking everywhere, and I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what it wants me to do with them. Radio. Cool. It's in the place where his bed used to be. Everything's been moved around. I don't know what happened while I was out. Um, let's see here. Cage. It only lets me search it. Oh, oh, oh! I heard a noise. I didn't like it. Barricade is too strong. The door is barricaded. I should probably just turn on the generator. I really need to. Whoa! No thanks. 
No scream. No scream, please. There's gonna be a lot of that. There's gonna be a lot of moving shit around. Open! Oh, what is all this, Doctor? What have you been doing? I'm gonna turn this generator on. Nope! Can't turn it on. Examine the metal table. A metal table with leather belt strapped on. Okay. That's it. And a window. Hmm. Table leg and gasoline. Let's put the leg over here and move the shovel and put the gasoline in my immediate inventory so I can put it in this thing. Put it in the generator. Just pour it all over the generator until it has oil. Like so much of it in there. And this should get me through the rest of this part of the story. It's on! The lights are on! Yay! That's where I got those things. I'm gonna need this. Probably. Oh god, it's a corpse! Oh, Jesus, where did you come from? The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. That's pretty gross. Ah, ah it's speaking to me. Oh, no, Jesus. 4892. Thanks, bye. Thanks, corpse. Who's there? What? It's me. Please let me out. Um... I mean, I really don't want to, but... I bust the door open for you. Help me. No. I don't want to. Come closer? No, nah, I really don't want to do that. I'm gonna just close this. It's fine. What is that sound? Better not leave the house at night. It's safer here. Yeah, you say that! Oh, there was- wait. There was a room here, wasn't there? There was a room right here. How did he- How did he board it up so good that- Oh, that's dumb. I'm going to use bandages. Oh, I forgot. They only fucking- they give me like a regenerative type effect doesn't actually yeah I'm slowly healing it doesn't heal me right away which is very unfortunate because combat in this game is fucking hard and a lot of these enemies will follow you to the ends of the earth to kill you specifically dogs I don't like dogs at all <laughs> in fact I'm not a fan of dogs in most horror games hey buddy ah Oh shit, gotta remember how to fight. Oh fuck, I'm really bad at this. Ouch. Come at me, fucker. I know how to fight. Who is this? It's not the doctor. Poof, okay. Plastic chicken! Okay, thanks. All right, the man is dead. What now? He he he! Shit! What are you saying to me? You're supposed to be dead. And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Oh shit! Don't look at it. If you don't look at it, he can't hurt you. He knocked all the lights out. Oh, fuck! Oh, okay. <laughs> I was pretty sure something was gonna come running after me, but I wasn't entirely sure what, because I couldn't remember. But there we go, that's the end of the prologue. I'm hoping that this uh, series will give me a chance to kind of practice um, my voice acting. 
like not that I have a, a vested interest in voice acting like like I want to make a career out of or, or anything but I think it would be good um, a good skill to learn it seems kind of fun Today's tea is a uh, honey vanilla chamomile with more honey in it and also bits of honeycomb. Okay, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. It's daytime. Let's look at this oven. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective sus substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. You cannot survive the night if you are outside. It is not possible. I have tried. It is impossible. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look at weird bottle. The label on the bottle says staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall resu results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas through the sleeping area. Inside the sleeping area. Warning! Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant, which means no fucking sleeping through the night. You have to wait for the entire night to be over. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Okay, look inside the pot. A small, empty, cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will provide useful after all. Will prove useful. Ugh. Okay, so here's the deal. I have to collect these weird pulsating mushrooms and then bring them to, to this oven so that I can cook them together until I have, you know, a certain amount, um, which gets higher every time, but that's how I upgrade my character. Got it. Here's my generator, which I don't need to be on yet. There's a corpse. Cool. Now I have a torch and an odd looking mushroom. Um, I thought there was more mushrooms in here. I guess not. Let me check around my, my house first. For more mushrooms. Stamina is very scarce in this game, also. Um, you can't just run places. And it, like, replenishes kind of slowly. I could rebuild the well if I had wood. Like, four of them. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same to the other windows. Let's just move this out of the way. Okay. And this is the most important thing in the game. The workbench. This is where you can store all of your shit. Antidote. Consumable cures and protects against poison. Right. Wait, why did I do that? Damn it. I needed that mushroom. Oh well. It'll be nice to have at least one antidote. But I could store all of my um, all of my crafting materials in this workbench and then use it later to craft things. It's the most important thing in the game. Because there's a lot of other things around here that you can use to store your uh, your shit but it's best to have it all on the workbench. There we go. It's also best to uh, have this wardrobe kind of in this hole here. Slow down anything that might want to get in. There we go. Nail, rag, photo of a road. I don't really need that. It's just one of those collectible things. 
a lamp, which I'm not really sure where I want it to be right now. I forget the best way to to set up this place. At the end of the night, or when, when night falls, it's good to... Um, it's, it's good to barricade yourself into one room so that you can just kind of like bottleneck any creatures into the into that one room. A uh, bear trap under the window still still there. How uneventful. Close. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, bear traps. Bear traps are good to have. I'm gonna disarm it. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna put it somewhere. Oh, all I got was a scrap metal. Shit. Okay. That's fine though. Um, I can probably take it back. Get it, uh, turned back into a bear trap. I think this is the room I want to be in. This is, this is where all the magic happens. And where it's safest to be. It's, it's nice to be close to the workbench, I think. This is the part where I drag things around for a long time. Okay, now I can close that. And uh, I can't barricade it yet because I don't have the supplies. Um, nails and wood are good to keep on you. Um, at least like 10 to 20 each. I'm gonna leave that off for now. I haven't even turned on the generator. I'm gonna go out though and look for um, supplies. Wood logs! Surprise, surprise, there's none here. Uh, did I check that box? I did. Okay. See the map here. The map. Underground entrance. That is a goal that I need to get to. Um, it's an old, like, hideout that this character used to have. He wants to go there and check the, the door, which, um, that key that was taken from him, the, the door, that's what that key goes to. I don't have any of those. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Where? I don't have a weapon. I can't really fight back right now. I have a one mushroom, though. Where is it? No, it's over there somewhere. I'm gonna avoid that direction for now. I don't want to fuck with dogs. Dogs are kind of a pain in the ass. Is that a corpse? Okay, good. Good! Give me the shit! That's, that's quite a lot of gasoline, actually. Wow, how lucky am I? Basically, my goal um, right now is to make sure I get enough materials that I can fortify my house for at least one night, and then I want to go to the underground entrance and check that out. Um, so if I just go to the underground entrance now, it'll do a lot of cutscenes and I won't have time to prepare and then by the time I'm done with all that I'll come back home and it'll be dark already and then I'm not ready for the dark. <laughs> just don't have anything right now. I need a weapon. Oh! Okay. I thought it was alive for a second. It's okay. It's just another corpse. And there is... Oh boy, there's a lot of those. Oh, bear trap. Cool. Give me more scrap, please. Yes. What do you want? I heard a noise. I'm not sure what it was. What is this? Is that another body? Yes. Poor bastard probably died of starvation. Whatever, give me a shit. Let me loot the shit. I don't care what happened to the corpse. I don't care why he's a corpse. I can't go in there. There's just this dense woods, like, all around the edge. Which I believe is important to the story. Oh, hey, another box. It's locked. Great. Okay. Do I have... I can make a bandage. I need two wire to make a lockpick. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, 
I wish I could mark that on my map. Let me take this bear trap. Get more scrap. Got it. I think it takes three scrap to make a bear trap, but I really don't remember. It's been at ages since I played this game. I do know that bear traps are important. They're, they're very useful. Even, uh, I think you can even use them during combat, maybe. If you set them up and then lure your enemy into one. Could help a lot. They get stuck for a second, I think. Or it at least staggers them. And takes out, like, half their health. Oh! No thanks! I really don't want to fuck with you. That's a moose! Look at it! Look at it go! It's so majestic and could absolutely kill me with those giant antlers. Oh shit. Nope, no thank you. Not interested. It's fine. I don't want to fight. Not on your territory. It's okay. Where am I? I don't know. Nothing has... Nothing that could mark my... Oh, there we go. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the map. Thanks. I'm way down here. Cool! There's a tree. Oh, there's a corpse on the other side of it. Should check that out. A rag, another wire, some more gasoline. Now I have one that's full gasoline. And one that's half. And I can make a lockpick. So I can go back and open up that box. And now... I think I have maybe just enough supplies for the night, except that I need more wood, and I haven't found a place to get wood yet. Is that moose still over here? I want to be careful. I don't want to anger the moose. Oh, there he is. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm quite far away. I'm not in your territory, I promise. And I'm good. Now, where is that box? I'm gonna get this out of the way now, because I will forget. Oh, I think I went too far. Maybe. Here we go. I knew if I just skirt the edge, I'd find it. Thanks! Pills! Those are good. Um, more gasoline. That's also good. Uh, matches. Cool, I had room for that. And a battery. I can save that until much later. Let's go back to the house, shall we? I still don't know where I am. Because there's nothing close by that can tell me where I'm at. That's okay. I'll just keep going up. Corpse! I'm starting to hear some music. What is that? Sounds like someone badly playing the flute. Oh! Oh, no thank you. No thanks. Is he gonna come after me? I'll fight him if I have to. Try out pressing, pressing the middle button. I could do that. I don't want to do it right now though. Ouch! Damn it! Drink it. No poison, thank you. I don't have time for poison. That's what happens when you don't pay attention. You get poisoned. Ah, damn it. Ah, I have to get some- I have to get rid of something. Uh, I honestly don't want to get rid of any of these. The battery, honestly, might be worth more to me if I sell it. What the fuck? Where am I also? Okay. Okay, good. Good. That's close enough to my house that I can just go put away all of this shit and then come back.
I heard a sound, like a, like a badly played violin. Okay, fill up this bitch with all that oil. I've got a lot of it. Okay. Now I can go put these things away. Probably use this mushroom to cook instead of whatever the hell else I used it for. Probably making that antidote with which came in handy. Bust it through the door cause I live here. No, I want these. A uh, bottle I can use. Alcohol is for crafting. Uh, pills, mine. Uh, gasoline can be stored here. I'm gonna keep these things because they are good for weapons. And these! And I'm gonna go back. Chain trap. Mm. Bear trap? Chain trap. Oh, I can't even make bear traps yet. I have to upgrade my shit. No, not upgrade item. I need to upgrade my workshop, which means I need six wood. But I also want to fix the well. I can't remember why, but the well is important. Oh. I need to go back out. I need to go back and get that wood. I believe I picked up some string while I was out. I don't remember, but I think that's needed for... Um, where? What, where, why? Get away from my house. It's my house, not yours. Good, good. More nails. That's good. Uh, some more wood. Yes. That's good. There's a dog around here somewhere. I swear to Christ. Oh, also it's getting dark. I can kind of tell. It's like just, just barely, like getting late. As you can tell by the, uh, the color of the light. It's the only thing that lets you know like what time it is. Until you can build a watch later. But that's like much later. Let's upgrade the workshop. Wait a can. Shit. Oh, fix the well. Let's use the saw. Oh shit. I need Oh shit. I need to do this quickly. Okay, the well is fixed. Drink from the well. Get regeneration. Cool. Now I absolutely have to turn on the generator because it is getting dark and I'm so fucked. Oh god. <laughs> I don't have anything boarded up. I'm just gonna have to fight or die. Oh Jesus. Close that. Okay. This is where the spooky shit happens. I, I didn't want to end the episode until at least one spooky shit happened. Um. Shit. I might have to just make chain traps. There's nothing else I can do. Can I barricade this? What? Oh. Oh shit. That's not what I need. I heard sounds I didn't like. Okay. Uh, board with nails. Good. Thanks. I need that. It's a weapon. It's the only thing that I can have right now. Okay, I need to make two chain traps. Oh, this is gonna be stressful. Ooh. Oh shit. Uh, where's my light? I have one light in this room. Turn it on. Okay. <sighs> All right. Put the chain trap here. Okay. And I have another one that I can put at the door. And I'm gonna need it. Oh boy, I'm gonna need it. Oh, let's hope that works. 
and just stand in the corner and hope that everything's gonna be okay because that's all that we can do. Oh god. No. No blinking lights. I'm like starting to remember now what it- No! Don't you fucking do it. If I put this here and stand behind it, then it'll make me more safe. <sighs> Something happens in there. Oh! No! Something happens in the bedroom, I think, but I don't really want to go back there right now. I really want to go bring that light um, into, the, into this room so I can see what's going on. Actually, I want to bring it to the foyer so I can see what's going on in there. No. The atmosphere of this game is such that, like, it's really hard to tell what is ambience and what is actually happening around you. Which is very similar to amnesia. If I'm being honest. Tonight shouldn't be too bad, because it's the first night. What the fuck? Oh! Harvest them! Yeah, harvest that shit! I didn't know those could show up in your house. Good. Good. I've only ever seen that happen outside, this mushroom thing. You'll see it- <gasps> Nope, 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 nope. Oh boy! I forgot that that opens inward. Yep, that's going right there. <laughs> uh, you stay out of here. That actually scared me <laughs> a little bit. Um, anyway, where those mushrooms show up, there's usually like a light that accompanies it. You could kind of see like swirling light effects around them, like after I'd grab them. But I usually see that like outside of my house. You can see it in the darkness when it happens. And the first couple of times I saw it, I was like, <laughs> nope, there's no way you're going to trick me to going outside to get whatever that glowy thing is. Turns out I should have gone out and got it because it's, uh, it's more poisonous mushrooms, which you can use to upgrade yourself. So that kind of threw me for a loop because I kind of learned very quickly to be afraid of everything in this game. It'll be okay if I go to the uh, to the bedroom. It is the first night. Whoop. Okay. Wasn't sure if that was me or. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I hear footsteps. sound. That sound is good. That's a good sound. That sound means that it's almost daytime. Yeah, it's almost daytime, you hooligans. Get out of here! Can't you hear the sound of daytime? That is the sound of the sunrise. That means it's time for you guys to get out. Get off my property, because... I'm safe now. I made it through the night. Yes. There we go. That was that was the whole night. Oh yeah, look at it. You can see like in the uh in the dark, in the parts that I'm not looking at, it looks like 
fucking pulsating, uh, like plants, like tendrils. The forest is almost a Lovecraftian creature in this game, and that's another thing that I love about it. There's just, just so much to love about this game. It's very, very charming. And exciting. And I forgot that if you come up to the window, you can kind of see out of it. So I probably could have seen if there was anything actually out there, or if it was just making noise. Um, this is still here. I have a very large mushroom. Hey, guy. There's a... There's nothing going on. Is that you? Is that the sound you make when you breathe? I don't think I've ever played this with my headphones on before. <laughs> Pretty insane. My bed! This. This lamp needs to come with me. Okay, now that I've done that, um, I think I'm going to end the episode here, and I'll start next time with talking to this wolfman. <sighs> but there you go! There's Darkwood! Um, there's the beginning of Darkwood. I'm really excited to start this journey with all of you guys, and uh, do things a little differently than I have done them in the past. I'm also excited for that. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!